Hello Libra, welcome to Soul Good. I'm Amber Marie and this is your November 2022 Taroscope. If you're curious about the decks that I'm using today, you can find a list of them in the description box below. You can also find links to my social media accounts as well as links to information on personal readings and the Soul Good membership channel on Telegram. Before we jump in, I would like to remind you that this is a general reading, not a personal reading, so please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. I would also like to mention that there will be a timestamp in the description box below if you would like to skip all of the shuffling, okay? Um, before we jump in, though, I would like to apologize for my absence for the month of October. I was going through um, some tremendous healing in my own journey and did not have the capacity to take on anything else at all. Uh, so that being said, I am going to make up for it by time traveling back to October, taking a look at what you may have learned or healed, how you might have grown from that, and then coming back to November to see what has come in for you for this month, how that will help you moving forward, and also getting some guidance for you as we move forward through November and beyond. So let's jump right in and see what is coming in for you, Libra. Please, Father, Mother, Life, Universe, Spirits, Guides, Angels, our cosmic team, our ancestors, our higher selves, what did Libra learn or heal in October 2022, please? Okay, thank you. Are there, yes. What did Libra learn or heal in the month of, of, of October? Okay, so first of all, let me just say, um, the way that the energy is coming through the cards, I feel like you guys were like all over the place uh, through the month of October. Um, I feel like you could have potentially experienced a lot of different, how do I word this? Uh, a lot of new information coming in through the month of October. And it kind of feels like your attention was like, okay, it's here. Oh, no, it's here. No, no, it's here. I feel like there may have been a little bit of difficulty finding your footing on what it is you should be doing or, you know, what steps you should be taking or something along those lines. Okay. How have you grown from the things that you've learned in October, please? How has Libra grown from the things that, thank you, from the things that they've learned in October? How, how has Libra grown from the things they've learned in October? How has Libra grown, please, from what they learned in October 2022? I feel like a lot of you spent time contemplating things, right? It, it kind of feels like you spent a lot of time in your own head uh, through the month of October. But let's see, what else did you learn, Libra, in October 2022? Yeah, there it is. Thank you. What's come in for you for November, November, Libra? What has come in for you for November 2022, Libra? What has November 2022 brought for Libra, please? Wow. Okay. Yes. I feel, you know, you guys, I feel like in November you still could potentially be um, a bit scatterbrained. Again, I feel like you have a lot of information coming in to your awareness and I feel like it's causing you to question a lot of things, especially about yourself and the world around you. How will what's come in for the month of November help Libra moving forward, please? How will what's come in for the month of November help Libra moving forward? Thank you. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Can we please have some guidance for Libra moving forward through the month of November and beyond? Can we please have guidance for Libra through the month of November and beyond? Okay. Thank you. Guidance for Libra. I feel like there's still some other yeah there they are I knew there was other messages in there for you let's see all right let me move these to the side so we can take a look at what came in for you 
through the month of October. Okay, so first here you have Lineage of the Rose, moved by the goddess here for this soul call and gather. Okay, so I feel like for some of you in the month of October, I do feel like you could have potentially started to figure out who your soul tribe is, right? Um, potentially having new people come into your reality, whether they came in before October or during the month of October, right? It feels like you are kind of learning who your people are and who they aren't, right? Taking a look at, does this person resonate with me? Do I feel connected to them? Do I feel like we're on the same wavelength? Do I feel like they understand me and I understand them, right? I just feel like there's an element here of your soul tribe taking a look at that. And again, realizing who is for you and who isn't, right? Who you align with and who you don't. I also feel like, interestingly, I feel like in the month of October, it seems to me like you may have went back and forth, right? I talked about this energy of being a bit scatterbrained or getting a lot of information coming in at once and trying to kind of um, filter through it, right? I feel like for some of you in the month of October, you may have been bouncing back and forth between certain things. Like, uh, for example, maybe you're like, oh, I want to do this. Okay, maybe I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. I'm not really sure, actually. Right? Like, I feel like some of you have been bouncing back and forth, like trying to figure out where you belong, right? Like where it is you're meant to be at, what you're meant to be doing. And I feel like that's why this here for this has shown up because it's like, is this what I really want? Am I really here for this? And what I mean by that is, for example, with me reading tarot, right? I'm like, I'm 100 fucking percent here for this. This, this like, it, it brings so much inspiration, so much life into my world, right? I'm fucking here for this. Like, I'm all about it, right? And I feel like for some of you, I feel like you've been trying to figure out what that is for you right? Like, what is it that ignites a fire within you, that ignites passion within you, that brings forth this feeling of purpose for you, right? I feel like some of you have been kind of maybe um, mulling around in your mind about that, right? Like, why am I here? What am I doing here? Is this thing that I'm doing, whether that's a job, a hobby, a relationship, whatever it is, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Is this where I'm supposed to be at? I feel like these are some questions that you may have had come into your awareness in the month of October. I do want to read the book for you guys on this one. I felt it as soon as I turned it over, but I was getting some other things coming in. So I wanted to share those with you before they left my mind. Uh, let me take a look in the book here for you. Okay. These times, these changing divisive times, your soul chose to be here right now for this. You're part of a collective team led by the goddess, the mother of us all. To re to reweave, excuse me, the thread of the rose back into the tapestry of humanity, to make spaces where all people feel cherished and safe, to heal and be healed from the destructive patterns of patriarchy, to be part of the return of the goddess to the earth. If you've been doubting your path, like I said, <laughs> if you've been doubting your path, you're being called to look within and trust the whispers and weavings from caverns deep. The way of the mystic rose is walked by few and known by heart, not mind. Try not to overthink. Rather, trust the threads that are woven deep. This card contains within it a confirmation of the inner call and a reassurance that you're not alone in it. The mother of us all thanks you for being part of these changing times for humanity. She acknowledges your devotion to doing your best to support yourself and others in the journey back home to themselves, to each other, and to the earth. She wants you to know that she is available to guide you every step of the way. Speak 
sing and dance with her. You are led. You are led. You are led. How are you being called to commit more deeply to humanity and the earth? Okay. So I feel like if this resonated with you, what I, if what I read just now resonates with you, I feel like you may have gotten some sort of soul calling where you feel like, oh, this is what I should be doing. And maybe you spent um, a good portion of October questioning, is that really what I'm supposed to be doing, right? Questioning those um, intuitive hits, that calling from your soul, right? Wondering if it's true. And I feel like if that does resonate with you, that this is your sign that yes, right? That is what you're meant to be doing. I feel like there's something here about learning to trust yourself, right? Learning to trust what your intuition is speaking to you, where you feel called, okay? You also have here the grandmothers. Remember your roots, perspective, and trust the weavings. Isn't that interesting? Based on what I just read uh, in regards to this lineage of the rose. I do feel like, yes, you're being called to trust the weavings. You're being called to trust, again, what your intuition, God, source, universe is telling to you. And it is speaking to you regularly, should you choose to listen. There are some of you guys, and I'm going to be quite honest with you, right? There are some of you guys who are like, oh yeah, I'm all about like listening to my soul and like talking to God and all the things, but you don't do the things. It's like you sit back and wait for God to tell you answers, but don't ask fucking questions, right? You need to be asking questions in order, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, you can't just talk about it. You've got to be about it, right? So for those of you who, you know, may be getting readings, for example, or, you know, watching a personal development or spiritual development things, or, you know, trying to align more with your soul, you have to do the things that will help you do that right? You can't just sit back and like post memes and, and talk about it. You actually have to put the work in. And I feel like there's part of this here where that's the perspective that I feel like October was trying to show you. It's like, listen, if you want the answers, you have to ask the fucking questions. And when you get answers to those questions, you actually have to move, right? It's not just going to fucking fall in your lap. And I feel like that is part of what you could have been learning throughout October, right? I feel like, yeah. And I feel like for some of you, you did get answers to shit and then you just stayed where you were, right? Like you didn't trust the weavings that you were being shown. You just were like, uh, like, I don't know, maybe you prayed about something or meditated on something or asked God about something or whatever the hell it is. And you got, you got an answer, right? Whether it was in a reading, whether it was through some sort of sign that you saw or, or, or some form of communication from spirit, you got these answers, but you didn't move on it. You just sat on it. And I want to lovingly say to you, Libra, you've got to fucking move. Because just talking about it isn't doing shit for you. Right? Like you have to be about it. You have to walk the walk, not just talk the talk. And it takes work. It takes work. <laughs> this is not a time for you to be indecisive. Okay. This is not a time for you to be like, I don't even know what the word is. Like you can't just sit, you can't like the fence. This is a good way to put it. Thank you, Lord. You can't just sit on the fence and expect you to be on the good side of things. Right. You can't sit in the middle and be like, oh, like, I'm just going to sit here and wait for things to get better. No, nah. no, no, no. Choose the fucking side. Either stay where you are because you're comfortable with it and it's fine. And you don't, you know, you have no desire to move forward, which if that is true, okay, that's your truth. Fine. Right. But if you're sitting there, like, why do I not feel better? Why do I not feel like I'm more aligned? Why do I not feel like I know what I'm doing or where I'm going or what my purpose is? Well, I want to lovingly say, Libra, you have to fucking move, right? You're not going to feel more in line with your purpose if you stay sitting on the fucking fence, right? If you don't choose a path, 
And here I'm feeling like you need to choose. And I'm getting a lot of anxiety coming in right now. Like my heart just started palpitating out of nowhere. So I feel like there's a lot of you who are fucking scared of shit to get off that fence, to make a decision, because I feel like you're afraid of what might happen next. Right. Um, afraid to dis disrupt the, the mm, interesting. Okay. Cause it's like being afraid to disrupt the harmony that you're experiencing, even though it's not fucking harmonious. It's like, I don't want to, I don't want to stir the water, right? Like, I feel like you're afraid of stirring the water, whether that's you making a decision and how it impacts other people, which I want to lovingly say, Libra, who the fuck cares? They're not living your life, right? No, no, like not everyone is going to understand your purpose, your path. They're not fucking meant to, it's yours, right? So I feel like there's this anxiety that's here about stirring the water about, you know, ruffling feathers like it's about I feel like you're trying to keep the harmony and I mean sometimes you gotta stir the fucking water Libra because that's how you're gonna move that's how you're gonna grow that's how you're gonna expand that's how you're gonna learn about yourself and other people and your reality around you and how you impact your reality around you how you create your reality and I want to lovingly say that if you stay on the fence you're creating an energy of being stuck end of story period which again if that's what you want fine right stay there but if not you've got to not just talk the talk you've got to walk it right you got to walk the walk too you have to make decisions and so you know I feel like this is about or, or rather October was about perspective and I feel like you know God universe spirit whatever you want to refer to it as was trying to give you that perspective, right? And you may have had the situation, like, again, you may have gotten the answers to questions and then you just chose not to move on it, which I mean, God's like, here, the door's open, but I'm not going to push you through it. Like you got to walk through it. Right. So how have you grown because of these things? I feel like <laughs> If you chose to see this, right, for those of you who are like, okay, I saw the things, you know, I got the answers and I made moves, okay, because maybe some of you did do that. Maybe some of you did trust what you were being told. Maybe you did allow that new perspective to come in and you did start making moves. I feel like if you did do that, then you were shown that it's time to leave certain things behind. That could be people, places uh woundings traumas burdens that you've been carrying and if not god was trying to show you hey it's time to let this shit go it's time for you to move past this and again if you didn't move guess what you're probably still holding on to that shit but you had every opportunity to grow right and here's the thing Libra like that's not to say that you aren't learning at your own pace like I don't want to make you feel some type of way about you know sitting on the fence or being indecisive but I feel like God was trying to show you like hey I'm supporting you you know giving you answers to questions that you ask me but like you can't keep coming and ask or I mean you can uh keep coming and asking the same questions but you're going to get the similar answers and if you don't change it then it's going to remain the same Right. So I feel like the month of October has shown you like there are things you need to move away from because you have this time to go card. Right. Time to leave behind old ways of being, old ways of doing things, old ways of thinking, um, things that you've been carrying for far too long, whether that's wounding, trauma, programming, whatever the hell it is, habits, behaviors, ways of thinking. Right. There's a lot of things here that I feel like God is trying, spirit is trying to move you away from to show you like, hey, this isn't in alignment with what you're trying to do, what you're trying to uh, feel, how you're trying to experience life, right? And again, whether you acted upon that or not, of course, is your choice. But, you know, if you didn't, you're probably like sticking your foot in your mouth now because it's God's been trying. God will keep trying, by the way. Even if you choose to stay sitting to, excuse me, stay sitting on the fence, God will keep trying to move you. It will keep trying. God will keep trying to show you this is not fucking for you. Right. 
This behavior is not for you. This habit is not for you. This way of thinking is not for you. These people are not for you. This situation is not for you. This job is not for you. Whatever it is, God will keep trying to show you those things, right? And if you continue to deny them, if you continue to ignore them, eventually God will create a tower moment where things are chaotic and hectic and fall the fuck apart. So it's like, oh, do you see it now? Like, are you going to believe me now? Right? So again, like choose what you will, right? But just know what you're choosing. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Know what you're choosing. And I'm saying that with so much love, so much fucking love, right? Just know what you're choosing. Because if you are in a state of suffering, whether that's mental suffering, whether that's physical suffering, spiritual suffering, whatever it is, emotional suffering, and you continue to choose the same things, you're going to get the same result, which is why I'm saying this to you, right? But for those of you who are like, okay, I see you, Lord. I see what you're trying to do in my life. I feel like you did move away from those things. And I feel like you've grown in the sense of um, letting go of some of those attachments that you may have had previously, no matter what it was to, right? And are learning to trust God, are learning to trust the weavings of your life, learning to trust your intuition, learning to answer your soul's callings, whatever that looks like. And it could look like you needing to leave things behind. And I feel like some of you did do that. Some of you did choose your own path, right? I felt like you were moved by the goddess as it were, right? And were shown new perspectives and were like, yeah, this is not in alignment with me, right? Remembering your roots. And I don't mean your roots, even though it does um, imply that on this card, it intuitively, I'm not picking it up as the roots of your family, right? I'm picking this up as the roots of who you are at a soul level, the truth without all the bullshit. Okay. I feel like for some of you, you started to remember that and you're like, this is not me. This person, how this person acts, moves, walks, thinks, talks is not for me. This situation, this job that makes me fucking miserable is not for me, right? And you did choose to take those steps, right? To leave those things behind, to release them. You also have here regeneration. Interesting. Okay. I feel like some of you in October learned or, or have grown in the sense of like you actually were essentially like the phoenix as it were right i feel like some of you just like were burning shit down <laughs> right um it's actually really interesting because i'm picking up that some of you actually burned bridges and i don't mean that in the sense of like you know you did something salt like you know salty or i don't know however you want to word it uh you know sneaky or 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 vindictive or anything like that but I feel like some of you burnt bridges because you knew that those people weren't for you. Those situations weren't for you. And so you literally were like burning shit down around your life. Like this isn't working. This isn't working. I'm like chucking it out, chucking it out, burn it down. And I'm going to start fresh. Right. So some of you actually did move into this space. I feel where you allowed yourself to release things and be reborn through something new. Right. There, there's this element of like releasing fear around what's to come next? Like what happens when I burn this bridge? And some of you were like, who gives a fuck? Like I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> right. Because there was just this element of like, I don't want to be in this space anymore. So I'm just going to allow things to unfold and trust those weavings of my life and, and allow myself to be reborn or experience something new. And it's so fascinating because this time to go card is 45. The regeneration is 46. Right. So for those of you who did allow these things to uh, be released or let go of them, I do feel like you actually likely did experience some sort of rebirth or regeneration or renewal in your life in some area, some way, shape or form. Right. Maybe it's your relationships. Maybe it's your job. Maybe it's how you feel about yourself. Maybe it's your where you live. Like, I feel like you may have gained this new perspective on you and the reality around you right? Like essentially seeing it completely differently. Uh, I do, I am going to grab the book for this card here and read it to you. Whoops. 
making a whole bunch of noise. You guys, like this, your reading has flown by for as little amount of cards that we have out on the table right now. This is wild. It does not feel like I've been sitting here for almost 25 minutes at all. Okay, let's see here. So anyways, thank you for sticking around. We find this card. Okay. So the meanings of this card are rebirth, second chances, and new opportunities. The oracle message, because there are several, and whoops, I feel like I need to read the oracle message to you. It says, second Second chances are available to you now. Whatever opportunities you thought were dead are now revived in a more authentic, stronger form. Whatever you may have perceived as a failure or loss is now being replaced by something better and more powerful growing in its place. This rebirth is assured. Step into your new life. Destiny is being fulfilled in wondrous, in wondrous ways. Excuse me. Yeah, so like I was saying, I feel like if you took the initiative to look at what you were being shown and, and what God was sharing with you that, and decided to move away from things that aren't for you, I feel like you may have felt reborn, right? You may have literally felt like you're starting fresh, starting new, um, that there's potential for new experience. You may have, you know, again, felt renewed, revived, okay? And for those of you who haven't, I feel like you're probably going to feel like shit. I'm just being honest. Okay. Like I'm just the messenger. You can, you know, take it how you will, but I feel like you probably feel like shit. You're probably feeling it because universe is trying to align you with things. And when you're not in alignment with what you're supposed to be doing, it impacts you, right? It, 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 it impacts how you feel, how, how you move through life. Um, and you know, it's likely that you are feeling that these things because you're holding on to shit that you're not supposed to be. And when we hold on to things energetically, it can manifest within our physical bodies as illness, disease, right? Or dis-ease, feeling uneasy, like shit, okay? Again, take it as it resonates with you, but know that even if you are in that space, there's potential here for you to now that you know this for sure, for sure, to move, to make those decisions. So what's come in for you for November? We have the seas of Mintaka seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. Again, you know, for those of you who chose not to move when you were getting the information that you did, you still have an opportunity very much like it said here with the regeneration card, that opportunity is still coming through in November. You know, God's sake, I'm still got that door open for you if you want to step through it, right? Are you coming or what? Okay, uh, November, I feel, will continue to show you things that you need to see about yourself in order to move you or to, you know, encourage you to move, as it were. For those of you who chose to trust the weavings and to listen to your intuition and make moves, you know, feeling reborn, I feel like the month of November is going to bring hope. Or has brought hope. I feel like you are see again seeing your reality in a completely different light and seeing the potential in so many things. I feel like even though it's like winter, you know, fall, winter time, I feel like for those of you who chose to move on the things that you felt called to move on, I feel like you it almost feels like springtime for you right? Like you feel like new life has been breathed into you for the first time in a long time. Okay. And I feel like you're starting to see yourself differently than you may have previously. Things may feel a lot more balanced to you, right? Uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I feel like things look more beautiful to you, right? Very interesting. You also have here Hireth, longing for home and home, homesick for the stars. So um, what's interesting about these two cards, right, is that I, I feel like some of you may feel connected to other places, uh, right? Maybe you 
are always looking up at the stars, like feeling like your home is somewhere out there versus within you or, or that you are home here on earth, on earth, right? Uh, I feel like some of you through the month of November may be seeking that home, okay? Or maybe you felt that coming in in October and it's just carried through November. I'm going to read this card for you as well. I just, you guys, I'm just going on what I feel I should do. And there may be additional messages in here for you. <clears throat> okay, so it says here, Hiereth is a Welsh word that's difficult to translate, but refers to a certain longing or homesickness, a yearning for a home or place to which we cannot return. This unexplainable, unshakable longing for home is common in starseeds and old souls. Perhaps you've had it since birth. For some, it's a distant memory of a planet, galaxy, or star system in the universe that their soul remembers and yearns to return to a place they may have experienced more than earth. For others, it's a longing for the unity of source, a remembering of interconnected oneness. This yearning can lead some star seeds to travel, searching all corners of the planet to find a physical place that feels more like home. For others, it can manifest as a need to find home in people, communities, and relationships. So I just want to pause very quickly because remember me talking about how some of you have may felt like, okay, this person, this situation, this experience is not for me. It doesn't align with me, right? I feel like, again, that's still coming through for the month of November, right? Longing for that home where you feel like you do connect with, with your tribe, where you feel like you do belong, where you feel like they do understand you, okay? So I'm going to read that sentence again. For others, it can manifest as a need to find home in people, communities, and relationships, a journey to find somewhere they truly belong. If you resonate with this yearning for home, but don't really know where home is, you're being invited to remember that your soul chose to be on earth. You're being called to fully commit to embodying your life. You're being reassured that you didn't come here alone, that your soul con or excuse me, and that your soul consciously decided to experience what it's like to be a soul in a human body on this planet at this time. You're being called to anchor all of your presence, your personality, your soul, and your spirit in the here and now. Ow. I just got burpy fear energy coming up and that actually hurts. Some of you are having a lot of trouble releasing your fears about not fitting in, about there not being a place for you, right? A purpose for you. And I want to lovingly say you wouldn't be here if you had no purpose here, if you had no place that you were meant to fit into, which I mean, I don't really know that we ever really fit in, like really, really fit in, right? Some of us are meant to stand out. Uh, but, you know, I feel like some of you have a big fear um, that you are struggling to release around fitting in. Okay. And some of you may have even compromised yourself in the past to fit in, engaging in things that maybe you didn't even really want to, uh, in order to feel liked or loved. Okay. So I'm going to read that again, cause that really hurt. Um, you're being called to anchor all of your presence, your personality, your soul, and your spirit in the here and now to commit fully to living this life right now to commit to putting two feet in completely. How can you commit more to fully living your life? Isn't that interesting, Libra? Because you have this last sentence here, to commit to putting two feet completely in. And what was I saying early on, right? I feel like you're on the fence. Like you were like, I don't know if I wanna go here or if I wanna go here, maybe you're jumping back and forth, right? So this is really committing to what you feel is true for you, what you feel is right for you, where you feel like you're meant to be. And to be quite frank, you're meant to be here right now, right? You're meant to be having this experience right now. You chose this, okay? So how is this going to help you moving forward? Well, it's going to get you out of that fucking stalemate, that fence you've been sitting on. That's what the Two of Swords is. It's literally a fucking stalemate. It is literally indecision. I mean, I don't really, I don't really know what else to say about that. And actually, this is one of 
the cards that does represent you, Libra. Just saying. So it's time, right? Like these things are going to help you to get out of that stalemate, to move forward. But do you notice how she has a blindfold on? She's not seeing shit with her eyes. You're supposed to be following your intuition here. You're supposed to be following that soul call that keeps showing up for you over and over again, right? Choosing. You're going to have to choose eventually. And I want to lovingly say not choosing is still choosing. Okay. You have the chariot. Yeah. So here's the, <laughs> oh, how will this help you moving forward? Well, it's literally going to help you move forward. First of all, second of all, I feel like it's going to help you to find that inner warrior within yourself, right? To fucking stand up for yourself, to declare like, this is who I am. This is what I need to be doing. This is what I want to do, right? Um, it's very interesting because it's, it's showing up in that way. I feel like it's going to kind of essentially like put the reins back in your hands because I feel like life has just been if I'm going to be frank, okay, um, it almost feels to me like instead of sitting at the top of this chariot and seeing like where things are going and, and, you know, having a bit of a sense of control or, or at least knowing with what the hell's going on in your life, I feel like some of you have potentially been like feeling like you've been dragged by life. Like you're being drug behind this chariot and life is just fucking pulling you along. Right. But you're being given an opportunity here to take the reins, as it were. To. Yeah, it's like to transform. Right. To. To how, how do I word this? Yeah, it, it's I mean, it's really like picking yourself up by your bootstraps is kind of the energy that I'm getting, right? It's the best way that I can describe it right now. Um, but it's it's like get climbing back up on top of that chariot and like seeing where life is taking you, not just letting it drag you, right? And, and then so that's how I feel. I feel like you gain this self, this sense of control over your life when you stop being indecisive. When life is just not dragging you, right? Because you're choosing what you want to experience versus life choosing for you. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. You have the nine of swords here in reverse. So how is this going to help you? It's going to help you to find hope again, Libra. It's going to help you to feel like you're not alone as well, right? I, it feels to me like if you're the only one sitting on the fence, Libra, that's fucking lonely, right? It's got to be fucking lonely. And it's got to feel like nothing will get better from here because you're just staying in the same spot. And I feel like once you get out of your own head, right, and once you make a decision and essentially take that control back and start to see where life is taking you, I feel like you're going to have a new sense of hope. Right. I feel like it's going to feel like the universe is now helping you versus working against you, though. It's it hasn't worked against you at all. You've been working against yourself. And that's something that I feel like you're coming to a realization about um, as you move forward. Right. And these things are helping you to see that should you allow that to happen. It's going to take work. I feel like you're starting to see that you actually have to put the fucking work in. Right. You actually have to be diligent about what it is you're doing, what actions you're taking, not just like. This is not it's not just about like a mental thing. It's a, it's in your physical world, too. Like what what choices are you making in your physical world? Right. What action are you taking in your physical world to create the life that you want to experience what you want? I feel like you're have this opportunity to spend a lot of time getting to know yourself, figuring out what it is you like, what you're passionate about, right? And I feel like once you step into that and you're, you work towards that diligently, right? Towards finding that balance, towards bringing in the life that you want to experience, right? I feel like you're going to have some incredibly high standards where it's like, listen, I've done all this fucking work and I'll be damned if you're going to come in and fuck it all up. 
like I feel like it will help you to create boundaries, right? It will help you to establish your sense of self should you choose to work diligently at your own healing. Listening to your intuition, following what you're being guided to do. Again, not just talking about things, but actually doing them. You also have the seven of wands here. So the seven of wands is learning, essentially, it's maintaining control, right, to a, to a point. Uh, and I feel like there's a sense of boundaries here as well, right? Because the seven of wands can be this energy of like uh, mounting a defense, and if you look, she's kind of inside or appears to be inside her own bubble, right? Uh, at peace, right? Like I'm here, I'm in my own space, right? Uh, so I feel like as you move forward, this is going, these things that you experience are going to help you to create those boundaries to essentially protect yourself, right? By choosing like this, this isn't for me right? Like I'm going to intentionally block this out or, or, or not allow this into my experience because I don't, it doesn't align with me, right? There's, it's like, there's no more of that, um, just doing things to do them. Okay. Or to be liked or any of that, right? I feel like there's also a, a sense here of maintaining control or, or discovering the ability to maintain control over yourself, over your own energy, over what you feel, right? Because here's the thing. She has all of these wands pointed at her. And if you think about this, it's like, you know, one of these people, one of these wands could like, for lack of, you know, if you can follow me here for a minute, uh, could cast a spell on you, could, you know, wave around and, and make life whatever it is. But if you are in your own shit, it's like, go ahead, fire at will, because you ain't fucking, you ain't phasing me. Because I know me, right? Because I know who I am. I know what I'm about. And I have the ability to sit centered in that. Okay? It may be helpful for some of you as well to meditate. Maybe you find a guided meditation on YouTube or, you know, through somebody or something, and that could be helpful for you too, to help to clear your mind, to help not, you know, ha how do I word this, uh, to help settle these thoughts that could be just running around, running around, which, you know, if that's the case, then that could add to that feeling of being indecisive because like so much coming in that you can't, or you feel like you can't sort through it, right? I also want to mention here something very interesting. You have nine, eight, seven um, in that order from the nine of swords to the eight of pentacles to the seven of wands. And so I feel like you could be counting down to something through the, throughout this month. I don't know what that might be, but I feel like for some, or, or that number could be important. Okay. Uh, nine, eight, seven, maybe it's an address, part of a phone number, um, a birthday, something. Okay. So you have four messages here uh, in terms of guidance moving forward. The first card for you, Libra says, be fearless on the front. And there is a cute little being which you probably won't be able to see on film because this is this print is quite light. Um, but there's a cute little being on here who appears to be some sort of fairy and he's sitting in a flower. So I don't know if you can see that, but it might be important for someone. The message is, dearest you, on earth, humans learn about life by telling stories and creating new ones based on shared experiences. Eventually, after repeating one often enough, it becomes your main story that you use to define yourself and the world. So to get the answers you seek, you must get vulnerable and hear your story when you tell it. Ask, why do you tell it? Is it really true? What else can be true? Can you see the truth that spirit is in all things? Do you see how other stories overlap and, inter and intertwine? Spirit loves stories, for they are like blueprints for co-creation. So tell the one we know to be true about you. 
a story of courage, gratitude, and honesty. Tell an empowered story about well-being, wisdom, and grace. You will experience your world according to the story you tell about it, so make sure they're stories you're proud of. Genuine, loving fan club. Right, so again, this is like moving away from things that don't resonate with you, right? Don't align with you, that are no, that, how do I word this, no longer have to be your truth, right? Because when you don't know what you don't know, what can you do, right? For years, I, I suffered. For years, I sabotaged myself because I didn't know what I didn't know. But once I learned those things, right, much like you are learning these things here and now, if you continue to do them, you're choosing, right? You're choosing to experience that same shit. Whereas if you choose something else, you choose to write a new story, you choose to experience something different, right? It's telling yourself that new story. And I feel like you're being given the opportunity to do this, right? But I feel like you have to decide that that is the story you want to experience. Some people, and I'm not saying that this is you, Libra, but some people get so caught up in their own stories that, how do I word this? Um, I'm going to try to put this as delicately as I can. Uh, it's not really in my nature, <laughs> but I'm going to do my best. Um, oftentimes, we get trapped in our own stories, right? Very much like this was saying here and we retell it and retell it and retell it because it gains us sympathy or empathy, right? It gains us pity. It, 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 we play the victim. And when we do that, people are like, oh, 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 let me just fix you. <laughs> right? Because they're avoiding their own healing. Um, so, you know, sometimes we keep telling the same stories because we want that attention, because we want to feel like we matter, because we want to feel like our stories matter, right? And it's not that they don't matter, but it's just like, why keep telling that same story and keep creating that consciousness pattern to keep bringing new situations that will continue to make you feel like the victim? Why do that? Why not choose a new story where you are the warrior, right? Where you are triumphant, where you are, you know, full of courage and gratitude and wisdom and grace, right? So you also have, you are magical and there is a beautiful, what appears to be a moth, I think, or a butterfly on the front of this card here. Dear you, there is a balance between activity and rest, ebb and flow. You can't have one without the other. If you are faced with an obstacle right now, the best course is surrender and non-resistance. What have I been saying this whole time? It's like God said, I said what I fucking said. Were you listening? Right? Soon enough, you'll see how easy it is to flow around it. Now is one of those times when you must trust the river of your life, go with the flow, and in no time you'll reach what you have your heart and hopes set on. Just remember, spirit will help you, or excuse me, spirit will keep your head above water and will direct the currents. When it's time for greater effort, you'll know exactly when you'll need to work those manifesting muscles. It can be challenging to master the flow cycles of your life, but as you develop your skills, affluence will be yours. Enjoy the flow and trust those currents, for we're right there with you with our little umbrella drinks, smiling at your success, loving you so very much. Right, so again, going with the flow, trusting your intuition, right? Where, where are you being led? What are you being called to do? trust those things, right? You also have here take flight with, I think that's a, uh, oh my gosh, I can't think of the word right now, you guys. Oh my gosh, why? I can't think of the name of this bird right now to save my life, but there's a bird on the front. <laughs> Dear you, there is always more than one side to an argument, two sides, if not 
more to every story and hundreds of ways to be right, be different, be at odds, and so on. Today, we suggest that instead of looking for differences, you find a meeting place of agreement and approach this experience with understanding and compassion. Seek common ground to understand how another person thinks or how an alternate, alternate excuse me, plan might be laid. Stay out of judgment too. Observe, discern, but accept that others have different stories, experiences, and journeys, and some people might refuse to remain open to another's point of view. No matter what, you've been presented with a great opportunity to explore a new way of doing things once common ground is reached. You're attracting people and situations that enrich your life and bring you wonderful things to learn. We love you so much. So as you move forward, Libra, you may find yourself, right? Because I talked about, there's this element of I'm doing these things for myself, right? I'm burning those bridges because it's just not in alignment with me. It's nothing personal, right? They may take that personally. It's not your job to fix their point of view. It's You don't have to explain yourself to fucking anyone. And I mean anyone. I don't care if it's your partner, your mother, your father, your, I don't care. I don't care who it is. You don't have to explain yourself. If you choose to, that is a gift that you're giving them. Now, I do want to say lovingly that that doesn't give you a free pass to just be an asshole to people. Okay. That's not what I'm saying. You can tell somebody, this is my point of view. You don't have to agree with it, but this is what it is without being an asshole, without being mean. Okay. Um, but I feel like there's also an element here, Libra, if you've been telling yourself these same victim stories over and over and over again, it's time for you to let that shit go. And I'm saying this with so much love for your well-being, for your peace of mind, it is time for you to let that go. Okay? Because even if in a story you feel like you're the victim and you are painting, you know, this other person or the situation as being, you know, the wrong one or or the perpetrator or, you know, the villain, that may not that may not be how they see it. And they're like it was said here, right? There are two sides to every story, if not more. And so just because you don't see it the way that they see it doesn't mean that their point of view is wrong. It's their perspective, right? So even though you feel like you were the victim, they may feel like they were the victim. They may feel like you did them wrong. They And whether that's true or not, God knows. Right? Let God decide what, what's true and what's not true. But you holding on to that is going to continue to impact your experience over and over and over and over again. Like I was speaking about before, you create consciousness patterns. And so if they, if you keep painting them as the villain in your story, guess what? Guess the fuck what? They're going to keep being the fucking villain because that's what you're asking for. The universe doesn't speak English. It speaks energy. And so if you're like, oh, so-and-so keeps being the villain in my story, you are literally asking the universe for so-and-so to keep being the fucking villain in your story. I'm just saying, you can take it that or leave it, but it is what it is. You also have a beautiful swan on the front of this picture, and it says, with love. Okay. And the guidance for you is this, dearest you, do you know how much we love you and want to help you? We are here for you and we hear you ask for guidance, but you must let go and let us help you. Holy shit, Libra, I have chills everywhere. Because what was I saying? Uh, more towards the beginning of this reading. You may have been asking for help and getting answers, but not not following through, not, not putting those things into action, right? You don't have to do it all. You've done your part. Now let us do ours. 
you would be awestruck if you knew how many strings were pulled through the matrix to give you what you need and desire. Spirit has a plan. And when you sign up to be a co-creator, you need to remember to allow the partnership. It's not one-sided. Your desires and plans meet up with those of spirit. Remember though, Spirit's timetable and ideas of how things will play out may be quite different from yours. Trust us. Spirit's ideas are amazing. Now let go and let us do the magic. Pay attention to the other areas of your life and before you know it, a miracle will have taken place. We love you so much. I act, it's so weird, like my stomach was growling just now. It was really loud. I don't know if you guys could hear it or not. Um... But there's this element here of, I feel like some of you have in the past, right? Maybe moving forward, it will change now that this message has found its way to you. But I feel like, again, some of you in the past have been hungering for that connection with spirit, literally hungering for it. And I feel like it's, it's, it's like a catch 22 because you've been hungering for it, but not allowing it, right? So I feel spirit is showing up here to say, as you move forward, allow this relationship to happen. Allow us to work in your life, right? Allow God to work in your life, right? If God's like, hey, move two paces to the left. All right, Lord, I'm moving two paces to the left. I don't know what the fuck is waiting for me over there. I don't know what's coming. I don't know what's going to show up. I don't know how I'm going to feel when I get there. But if you say move two paces, I'm going two paces trusting that these things are playing out for a reason to align you with who you are supposed to be, who you signed up to be while you're here, right? So moving forward for you, Libra, I feel like there is a ton of potential for you to learn about yourself, ton of potential. And I feel like there's a big, 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 message here about emptying yourself of all of now obviously this is not going to happen overnight okay I just want to make that very clear nor will it be easy okay I feel like if you allow yourself to empty yourself of all of the bullshit that you've been carrying around right and let God let your intuition your connection with spirit take its place, I feel like things will look tremendously different for you. And I feel like you will feel a lot differently about life in general, right? I feel like life will feel more, more harmonious for you. I feel like life will feel more balanced. Um, I feel like you will find it a lot easier to find beauty, to honor truth, right? A lot of these things I feel will start moving in your life if you allow it. And that's the key thing there. Okay. Uh, Libra, I have truly, truly enjoyed reading for you. I hope that something here is beneficial or valuable for you in some way, shape or form as you move through the month of November and beyond. If something resonated here for you today, please do the YouTube things by liking, sharing and or subscribing. It really does help the channel to grow and tells YouTube that there may be something here for someone else to see of importance. So I truly, truly do appreciate that. I hope you have an expansive month full of growth and possibility. I am sending you the biggest of hugs. I love you so much. Take care of your beautiful, beautiful, beautiful soul. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.